Earlier this year, Kenworth unveiled their new T880E, the industry's first vocational Class 8 battery electric truck, and the next generation T680E. Both of these trucks are built on the brand new Packard integrated e-powertrain system. In this video, we talk with Kenworth Assistant Chief Engineer Nick Harker about what fleet owners and potential buyers need to know about these next generation models. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. Yeah, so the truck here is the latest addition into our vocational lineup. So this is a ground up design, mm -hmm. battery electric powertrain. And this one is unique because why? This is unique because it's very configurable. So it brings the latest technology, but we can do various ranges so that we can make the mm -hmm. truck fit the need of the customer. We can go from a two battery pack, so it's lower weight, lower cost, less range. We can go a three, a four, or a five battery pack to get all the way up over 250 mile range at a full 82,000 pounds vehicle weight. Wow, so what are some of the main uses for this vehicle? Uh, this truck, one of the things that's great is we have incorporated a central drive e-motor. Oh, and wow. so what we're able to do is get the flexibility yeah. that we have from a diesel powertrain, right? So we can use mm -hmm. the rear axles, we can have a very wide range of frame options, we can do pushers, we can do EPTOs. So it, it can be anyone from a flatbed, to uh, in the ride and drive, we have a, a dump truck mm -hmm. and we can do mixers, we can do all sorts of things. So that's the great thing is the first full class eight vocational, we can support all those different markets. Very impressive. So what are some of the most interesting features just from the exterior here that we can take a look at? So we've got a battery pack here. So this is the right hand string. There's a similar one on the other side. We have two strings behind the cab to get more range, more battery. There's one under the hood as well. Um, some of the features, that the battery packs have is we, we wanted it to be very, very safe. So on every single battery string, there's a relay box so we can isolate high voltage right at the pack. And then there's also a service disconnect you can see right here where you can manually interrupt power so that when the truck's sitting here, like it is right now, it is completely safe to climb on and do service. We've got our low voltage battery box here. So that's what powers all the 12 volts mm -hmm. and all the accessories. It also what is controls the relays and things like that. On the other side of the truck, we have a EPTO, which takes high voltage power, turns that into pump pressure. So you can run um, various components. So this will have a loader on it eventually is what this is destined for. And then, like I said, so from the e-motor back, it's basically a traditional Kenworth truck. Very interesting. So what's the power output and charging times, all these key relevant details? Yeah, so continuous power is 350 kilowatts and it goes up to 450, which is up to just over 600 horsepower. So that's the peak power output of the, right. of the e-motor. Charge speed is a 350 kilowatts. So when does it go on sale and how much does it cost? Currently have our phase two out for sale now, which is the, the predecessor to this. Okay. This is a significant cost reduction from that. Um, we haven't worked through all the, the final pricing yet, but this, okay. is, this is significantly more integrated and will be a much better price for our customers. As far as target for launch, so we are going through our validation right now to make sure that this is mm -hmm. very, very robust. We've got over 300,000 miles already and we're we're going towards a million plus to make sure that there are no issues and no challenges with this. Um, so launch is dependent on that, but we're targeting sometime later this year. Interesting, okay, yeah. very nice. So let's go take a look at the other Class A yeah. battery electric you got going here. All right, so Nick, what do we have behind us right now? This is the T680E. So this is the latest generation of our on-highway battery electric product. So we currently have our previous generation out mm -hmm. on the roads now. This is taking our new body style, updating it with the new electric powertrain. So this has the same e-motor, same batteries, just in different configurations. Okay. This truck right here is a uh, three battery pack. Oh, wow. um, so it's a 150 mile range truck, but we can also go up to a four battery pack configuration to get over 200 miles of range with the T680. So this is geared more on highway or you know regional haul, that sure. kind of thing. We're leveraging the same components so that we can get our mm -hmm. volumes up and we can get our price to a point that the customers need it to be. Yeah, so on the interior, we've got some updated styling to go okay. with our battery electric vehicle, some interior colors. We also have a new large infotainment display, which mm -hmm. offers a number of features. So we'll have some battery electric focused apps and things like that to really help mm. customers make the shift from an internal combustion to a to a battery electric. So again, when is this gonna be hitting the market? 
Yeah, so this is a similar similar story as our okay. vocational product. So they are going through validation at the same time. And so this will be hitting the market uh, later this year. We are partnering with a number mm -hmm. of customers to get miles on the road and to prove that this is a robust product and has all the right features. But yeah, we're, uh, we're very excited to get this uh, full production uh, later this year. All right, so thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave some comments uh, down below. Love to hear from you.